more Black Friday deals just dropped, and here's two that I definitely think that you should grab. So let's go check them out right now. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is George, and one of the lifetime deals that I want to show you that just dropped is called Fable. So Fable lets you do step guides, but one of the coolest things that Fable has is that the guides are actually interactive. That means that they are not screenshots. They are actually sections of your website that you can modify and do a whole lot with them, right? So currently, Fable is on a lifetime deal right now, and this is the current price as of this video drop. So this price will increase. So I definitely think that you should grab it right now. Now, I do recommend that you grab it right now, but don't forget there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So take advantage of the low price and then go ahead and test it out with Calm, right? But I definitely think Fable is a good deal that you should grab, right? So Fable lets you create step guides. And how easy is it to create these step guides? Well, I'm gonna do one for you right now on this video. So right here, I'm on Traff and it's a booking SaaS. And let's just say that hypothetically, I'm the owner of Craft, and I need to make these step guides because users need to know how to do something, all right? So all I have to do is install the Chrome extension, which I've done already. I am gonna set the size that I wanna do recording. I'll leave it as is, and I'll record a new demo, all right? So I'm starting this off, and what I have to do is just do the steps that I would do to tell my uh, clients to do the same, right? So here it is, I'm on the dashboard, I'm gonna go to the calendar, and let's just say that I want to show them how to book a meeting, right? So I'm gonna say on the 21st, and then they have to select the service, I'll do a meet, they have to select the date, 21, so fine, the, the time, 3 p.m., and I'm just going through these sections just to give you an idea how you would do this, right? I'll just select anyone here, and I'll go ahead and save it, and here we go, we now have the meeting, all right? Boom, I'm going to stop the recording, here we go, and this is going to automatically kick in Fable, grab these sections of the website because it's not screenshots what they grab. They actually grab the sections, all right? Now, it's gonna ask me, save as a new demo or add it to an existing demo. I wanna do a brand new demo. And then we can use the AI system that Fable has to actually add the captions automatically. So let me tell it what this is for and let's see the results. Here we go, we just got the results and we even have the welcome screen, okay? So it knows it's about Traft and it's telling me that this demo is to book a meeting using Traft, all right? So let's go ahead and begin and this was all done automatically. I haven't done anything here. Let's hit next, it's telling me to book with the calendar, go to calendar section, click on this section. Here we go, click on this one, continue the meeting and each one of these messages has to do with what, is, what it's actually doing, all right? So that's the cool part about using the AI system for Fable. We can edit every single aspect of this later on. This is just a demo of how it actually works. Now, to jump into editing, we're gonna go into edit, and it's going to give us a section by section of this guide. That means that if I click on the section, it's going to open up the editing features for Fable. Now, one of the beauties about Fable, as I mentioned before, is that it's an interactive guide. You can see that I hover over these sections and I can actually modify these sections. Now, for example, let's just say that in the future, I change my brand and it's now it's not this logo anymore and I need to change it. Well, I'll go to edit, I'll click on this logo and I can replace the image. I can show the element and I can actually burn the element in case it's a password or something like that, right? I'll turn that off. But you get the idea of how this interactive demo actually works. You don't have to go ahead and re-record the whole things because you made some changes or Let's just say that hypothetically here where it says the name, this was 2023 and now we're in 2024. We could just go ahead and update by clicking on edit and changing the, these details right here. So I'll just say test and it's now updated. I don't have to re-record the whole thing. I can blur out data that's sensitive. For example, this price, I can go ahead and blur that out just in case I don't want it to show up in the demo. And it gives me a ton of options with this alongside with the actual annotation. So for example, let's go into one of these screens Let's go to this one. And here's the first annotation for this particular screen. This is what it says, and I can go ahead and change it, right? So I'll just add my own information, and I'll just say test for testing purposes, okay? I can change colors, I can remove logos, I can do a whole lot of things. I can create a video and audio guide from here. I can change the branding for the colors. I can do a call to action. I can change effects. I can do sizing and positions in case it's on top of something that it shouldn't be on top use hotspots and advanced features for this. So everything can be modified with this section. 
So you can modify what was recorded and you can modify the actual card that pops up to tell you what you should be doing, right? If you need to highlight something else, you can go ahead and change it. I mean, you can click in every single aspect of this and change everything that you need to do in case it changes or you want to blur out something, etc. right? And each one of these is here with a step guide. If you need to remove something or move section, you can just go ahead and do it from here. So it's a really great way. And if you need to bring in one, you can do so too. If maybe you forgot to record something or there's a section that you couldn't record for some specific reason, you can go ahead and add that there, okay? You can also design the loader. You can create a module. You can check the mobile responsiveness and all the rest of the features for this, for the style of dark or no frame for that. Once you're good to go, you can go ahead and publish this and boom, you can go ahead and embed it into a landing page or open this demo with a link. So it's super easy and straightforward. Of course, there's a ton of more features available in Fable, but this is just like the quick overview of what it can do. So if you need to create step guides and have all that flexibility of making modifications in the future, this is definitely a good buy. All right. Now, the next deal that I want to show you is Traft, obviously, because that's the one we tested right now. So Traft right now is back on the lifetime deal for Black Friday. And again, don't forget that the price is going to change because after a few hours or days, the price is going to increase. So if you see this video right now, grab it and then decide if you're going to keep it or not, because there's a 60 day money back guarantee. All right. Now, with Traff, you're able to create booking pages and you're also able to create bookings manually. All right. So once I set up my page, like you're viewing right now, this is on my own custom domain and I'm able to book meetings right now. So I can go ahead and share my custom domain link and someone will be able to book right now really easily. So take, for example, this meeting, all right? I'll go ahead and book this one. I'm able to select the week, dates, etc. In this case, I'll select the 20th. I'll select the hour and then add my details. And I'm going to be able to book super easy and straightforward, right? Now, it's super easy to use Traff. And one of the things that I do like about it, right? So this is Traff. And you're going to be able to view a quick overview of everything that's going on. So if you're a busy person, who has a lot of bookings, then you're going to be able to really appreciate all the details that you can wrap right here with the analytics, right? Now, you're also have a quick view for a calendar. And of course, you can connect your Google Calendar to this and you can manually create a booking meeting right here. So if someone doesn't book it with the system and you need to do it manually, you can do go ahead and do so from here. Select the date or click on a new appointment. There's also a view of all the appointments available here. So here's the one I've created manually. I can go ahead and approve it, pending, cancel the sex reject it, et cetera, or get rid of it. In this case, I'll get rid of it because it's just, just a testing uh, guide that I'm doing right now, right? Then we have our employees that we can create right here. So if you have a lot of employees, then they can book different people, right? Let's just say that you are a lawyer agency and you have several lawyers. Maybe they want to select a specific lawyer for different type of needs, or maybe they feel more comfortable with another one. Well, you add all of them here and obviously you can add all the details for them. For example, if you edit the employee, we have all the details, for example, the assigned service, the working hours, because that employee might work different hours and the days off. You can add them right here, right? Then you have your customers. So a list of customers that have been booking with you. It's really easy to have them right here, right? You can go ahead and export them in case you want to add them to an email marketing system in case that's your thing, right? Then the services, the services that you provide, you can go ahead and add them right here and then assign them to who is going to provide those services. Because for example, in this case, I do these services and let's just say that someone else does a different type of service. Maybe it's a special service that I don't provide. Well, I, I assign it to that specific person, which is really cool that you can do this, right? Then you have locations. If you want to enable that, you can add locations here. In this case, I only do Google meetings, but you have the option to add more here, right? Then you have your finance options. You can view your invoices, the settings for these, the transactions, taxes, coupons, etc. all from there integrations that are available as of this video. So check them out right here. So I'm using, for example, custom domain domain right now, but you have all these available options depending on the plan that you are on. Right. Then you have rating and reviews. So you have that option there where they can do ratings of how you actually did and obviously take that feedback to improve your meetings. Then you have your customization. So in customize, we're able to view all the details like adding logos and all that stuff that's going to appear on the homepage where they're actually booking. You go through all of these and just take care of them. So you have a nice looking booking website, right? Then you have your general settings here where we're going to view, for example, payments. So you can add your payment gateways through here. And these are the ones that are available as of this video. All right. So do consider those in case the payment gateway that you're looking for is not here. That might be a turnoff, but I mean, these are practically global. So 
it's up to you if you want to use craft for payments or just have booking all right it's up to you if you want to use either way all right so that's the deal that's going on right now remember it's craft lifetime deal price will increase in a few hours or days and fable again price will increase in a few hours or days so if you want to grab it link we provided in the description for both of these two and i definitely recommend that you check them out and grab them if you have a need for something like this well that's a wrap